Hey, Michaela Harris here with Timberlake Marketing. I wanted to make you this video while I had some free time because I like showing businesses how to generate more revenue without having to pay these huge legion companies for leads that are sold to multiple people. To do this, you'll need to utilize your website and a Google business profile to get to that first page of Google. And my top three tips to make your website get to that first page of Google so that you can generate your own leads are going to be content, backlinks, and citations, which I'll explain as I go. Then I'll show the, you the opportunity of what taking these steps could mean for your business and what all volume and traffic is out there available for you. So if I start here with your website, um, I, I like the images that are used. I think it looks very nice. Um, however, I did notice that it's a Wix site. Now, Wix is a decent platform for dragging and dropping, which is good and what most people can handle. Um, but it's not entirely as SEO friendly as some other platforms may be. So just food for thought. And then I did notice that most of your back pages do not currently work. Um, it shows up and then it disappears on some of them. Um, let's see, here we go. So I did notice that the website's not entirely complete. Um, and then on your homepage, I didn't see 1500 words of content. Now 1500 words is especially important because 1500 to 2000 words of authoritative content with keywords throughout that content is exactly what Google algorithms look for when it calls a website. The content and the keywords are going to tell Google what your website is about, what your business is about, and what words you need to rank for. If it doesn't know what your website's about, then it doesn't know who to put you in front of. Any back pages that you have, such as additional locations that you serve and any of your services, which should be on separate pages, those should have about 500 to 750 words with content of content with keywords on that as well. Now for your Google business profile, I did not currently see one for your company, which is fine. Um, I would just recommend that you go in and create one, but my recommendations are going to be the same either way. For Google business profile, you're going to want to make sure that you get it completely filled out, that you utilize that 750 word company description, and then you want to get more reviews, photos, and citations than your top competitor, which I'll show you what your competitors are in just a minute. But pretty much you want to make sure you're getting more reviews than them over time, that you get some optimized images, and that you get citations, which are just listing sites like Yelp or Yellow Pages that list your name, address, and phone number. Now to get one of these, it's going to be really easy. Just go log into your Google account if you have one, if you don't create one, and then open up your apps and go to Business Profile. Now if I take a look at what your website is currently doing for you, you can see here that it's not very much. So you, your UR and your DR is pretty much non-existent. This is a trust and power rating influenced by backlinks. Now this tells, this is what search engines see is how powerful your website is. Backlinks are just links from other websites back to you. Now as you can see you don't really have, you only have two. And your Google is not picking up on any keywords and then you're also not generating much traffic. Now this is a ballpark number and it typically ends up being higher, but in most cases when it's zero, that's fairly accurate. Now as a potential customer, if I'm searching tree service in Houston, Texas, now this is what we call a buyer intent keyword. This is a special kind of keyword because it's a service in a city. When it's that specific, you know that these are people that are searching specifically to make a purchase. So those are going to be the ones that translate into customers for you. It's not enough just to have any keyword. You want to have those buyer intent ones. Now, when someone searches this, they're going to see the top three businesses and maps in the first page of organic URLs. Nine out of 10 people never going to make it to the second page. And most won't click more businesses. You want to be as easy as possible for your customers to find you because if they can't find you, they won't use your business. So again, be in that top three and as close to the top of the first page as you can get. If I take a look at your top competitor for that search, it's this guy, Houston Tree Services. Uh, their website does look pretty good. However, I don't see 1500 words of content and I checked earlier and I did not see that their images were saving as keywords. 
So it just tells me that there's room for improvement for them as well, and it is possible to beat them out. Now, if you see here, their UR and their DR is pretty low, and especially for having 1.6K backlinks, um, I would think that that would be extremely way too low. So that tells me that a bunch of their links are probably not the best. And what you want to know here is that for backlinks, it's important to have high quality, powerful, trustworthy, and relevant links. They need to be powerful. Search engines need to trust them, and they need to be about what your website is about. For instance, you wouldn't be on a makeup blog linking back to a landscaping business. Now, what's most important here are these organic keywords, and this is what I want you to take away from the entire video. So if you take a look, Houston tree trimming gets 250 searches. Tree service in Houston. 800 searches every single month. Then Houston Tree Service, 800 more searches every month. Tree trimming in Houston, 200. So just out of that, there are 2,000 people searching just in those three, sorry, just in those four words. You have over 2,000 people searching for tree services. So ultimately, what I want you to see is there is huge potential for growth for your company here. Uh, knowing which words to target is going to be important, but basically getting that content on that website, getting those backlinks, getting that Google business profile up and getting some citations for it, that's going to be what you want to do. Now, I hope that you found this information helpful. Of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to talk with you more about this and see what we could do for your company. But otherwise, I hope this information was helpful and I would appreciate a few lines of feedback. Uh, just so that I know it was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.